الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear brothers and sisters, pilgrims, today quickly we conclude the actions of Umrah, we call it Umrah, once we arrived in Mecca, already we did Ihram at the Miqat, this is the first Rukn of Umrah, secondly the Tawaf, third is Sa'i, the fourth is shaving the head, this is the Umrah, for Rukn. Once we do this, خلاص, this is the Umrah, then we'll break waiting for the A'mal Hajj, the actions performing Hajj, inshallah. So, alhamdulillah, we come to know how to arrive Mecca, how to enter Mecca in the humbleness with Khushmur. And again, remember that Mecca is haram, sacred land, not only, not only for the pilgrims, for everyone, even people of Mecca. There is many actions you can't do. You have to show your manners, adab. Even if someone annoyed you, don't respond to him. You are the guest of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will test you. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala surah al-Ma'idah. Allah said to Sahaba, لا يبلونكم الله بشيء من الصيد تناله أيديكم ورماحكم ليعلم الله من يخافه بالغيب الله سبحانه وتعالى will test you because in the way of Hajj in مكة hunting is forbidden prohibited Allah will send some birds to be handy next to you to see because hunting is Haram, forbidden, prohibited in the status of Ihram. But Allah remind them, subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Allah will test you. Allah will send some birds to be very close to you. Handy, you can catch it. Just to see who is going to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And subhanallah, sahaba, they give the best examples of taqwa. Same like happened to Banu Israel. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, don't do fishing on Saturday. So on Saturday, fitna, test from Allah. Banu Israel used to see the fish is floating, but they can't do fishing. On Sunday up to the next Friday, no fish. Saturday come, fish come up floating as a test, as a trial from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fitna. Banu Israel, they fall, they couldn't cope this fitna, they couldn't pass this test. And some of them, part of them, they did fishing on Saturday. Sahaba, they showed the best. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested them. The birds is handy, but hunting is haram, so they can't catch it. You brothers and sisters, you'll find this test in Hajj. He said, oh Allah, I will never argue. Oh Allah, I will never shout. Oh Allah, I will be harmful, polite. But then you see someone in Tawaf or wherever you find someone, people will push you, elbow you. People will sneeze at your face. Some people sometimes, while you are doing dua, he will cough in, within your mouth. Don't laugh, but sometimes happened. Some people pushing you here, pushing you there, just to see how is your patience. This is a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will test you. Allah will send someone to annoy you. Allah sometimes will show some, even the people of your group, people in your, the, the, the agent, who, the muallim or the muradhim, he will not fulfill anything of your, your facilities, in your package. Many people, they will argue, shouting, where is my four or five stars? Where is the meal you promised me? You said this and that. Don't spoil your hajj because of a meal, because of a room in a hotel. Forget about this. Your target is high. Your target looking for Jannah. Be careful. You do your tawaf. You do your salah behind Maqam Ibrahim. You do your sa'i. And where we stopped last time, as a sa'i. And we said sa'i remind us, Hajar alayhi salam, 
showed the best example of tawakkul. Tawakkul. Yes, I do my best. She want to suffer. Nobody. She ran to Marwa. She's a lady. But she ran all this distance. Our brothers who are really fit sometimes say, oh, it is really tiredness. Remember your Hajar, alayhi salam. She never gave up. And this is a very good lesson in tawakkul. The brothers search for a job. You know, I went here and there, I couldn't find a job. Hajar once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven. Brothers, not only seven. We don't know if Zamzam hasn't come up. We don't know how many times Hajar will go around Safa Marwa. But she stopped at seven because she heard Zamzam. The fountain come up, the water come up. She was really excited. MashaAllah. Don't give up. Don't despair. Don't tell me I have been seven years, I haven't got a child. Keep doing dua. Dua with yaqeen. The certainty that Allah ala kulli shayin qadir. Don't tell me I have been years and years. Ask Allah, the righteous children. Ask Allah, I my business. Big dua. I am in a trouble. Ask Allah, I am in a hardship. Ask Allah. With yaqeen, Allah will accept your dua. Allah will respond to your dua in any language. But repeat your dua. Tawakkul. Remind us Ibrahim alayhi salam. Look at how Allah sent the mercy. Not at Safa, not at, as, at Marwa as we said before. The mercy came at the, at the feet of Ismail. Zamzam come up. Same happened to Ibrahim alayhi salam. Father of Ismail. You don't know the help of Allah. How it will come. وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجَ وَيَرْزُقُهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبْ Ibrahim alayhi salam, subhanallah, he was at a hardship, at risk, thrown in the fire. He said, حَسْبِيَ اللَّهُ وَنَعْمَ الْوَكِيلِ Look, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't send the rain to destroy the fire. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't send a strong wind to destroy the fire. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let the fire itself to become peaceful for Ibrahim alayhi salam. Tawakkul of Hajar, Tawakkul of Ibrahim alayhi salam. We ourselves, we follow the footsteps of this blessed family. The last action after you finish seven rounds in Safa Marwa, you do shave your head. And the Prophet sallallahu he remind you that when you shave your head, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will have the mercy for you. Allahumma arham al-muhallaqeen. Then the people who trim their hair said, Ya Rasulullah, wal muqassireen. Also those who trim their hair said, Allahumma arham al-muhallaqeen. Oh Allah, have mercy with those who shave their head three times. And the fourth, he said, also those who trim their hair. Don't say I'm going back to London. I have a suit and tie. How am I going to have balded head? Shave your head. With every single hair you'll have a reward. Allah remove a sin from you. Once you shave your head, Allahu Akbar. You are pure now. You have finished your Umrah. You will stay normal. You have the shower. Especially if you are Hajj Tamattu, you take off your Ihram, you are normal until we go to Mina to start our Hajj. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this Umrah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala purify all of us from the sin. And next episode, I will tell you, give you the glad tidings. Because the trip of Umrah and Hajj is the best, the best purification ever. And it is the biggest purification in your life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us a perfect hajj. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barik ala nabina Muhammad. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. 
والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بهديه واستنى بسنته واقتفى أثره إلى يوم الدين Dear brothers and sisters especially those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them and already there in Mecca they are going to perform Hajj we finished Umrah today I'm going to summarize the actions of Hajj Manasik al-Hajj as we did for Umrah, I'm going to just give you summary, summary what you're going to do in Hajj. Then we'll go details how to perform Hajj with our hearts to involve every single Muslim. Everyone will share with us the rewards of Hajj this year. Summary of Hajj is very simple. On 8th of the Hijjah, I'm going to put on my Ihram again as I did for Umrah. But today I don't need to go back to the Miqat, the border of Miqat. I don't need to do this. I put on, ihram, put on my Ihram in my room either i'm in the hotel or my room wherever you are, i'm in mecca i put on my ihram i will say labbaik allahumma hajj then we're going to go to mina we'll stay in mina on the eighth of the hijjah we're going to pray there dhuhr asr maghrib isha on time qasr short in the salah even if i am from mecca and mina is only few miles away still i will pray shorten salah zuhur to raka asr to raka maghrib three raka isha to raka and this is what sahaba did even if they were from mecca they did this with the prophet sallallahu then next day i'm going to proceed to arafah after sunrise i go to arafah in arafah i will pray zuhur to raka and asr to raka and jamma so I pray Zuhur to Raka, then Iqama again, and pray Asr to Raka again. Then I will be free up to the sunset. This is what the Prophet did, the son of the Prophet did. So I do the same as he said, See how I'm doing Hajj, performing Hajj, and copy me. We copy the Prophet in his Manasik. Pray Zuhur to Raka, Asr to Raka. Then I stay there doing dua, dua, dua until the sunset. After sunset, I go to Muzdalifa. On the way to Muzdalifa, there is a Wadi Urana, but because already you are in the coach, you don't need to be worried about this. We should not really stop there because this is where the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroy Abraha and there's his army, the people of the elephant. They were coming to demolish Kaaba, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroyed them. So we don't need to stop there. We move, go to Muzdalifah. What I need to do, just pray Maghrib, three rak'ah, Isha, two rak'ah. Then I sleep. Pray Witr. Witr, you should pray all the way. If you are travelers or you are at home, you pray Witr. And also the two rak'ah Sunnah before Fajr. In Muzdalifah, pray Maghrib and Isha and sleep. This is the Sunnah. Fajr time, I wake up, pray to Raka'a Sunnah, to Raka'a Fard Fajr, then Dua, Dua, Thukurullah and then Mash'ar Haram, Mash'ar Haram, this is Muzalifa, Dua, Dua until sunrise. Any brother who has some sisters, children, they can leave after midnight, but other people, they can leave after praying Fajr and making Dua, they proceed, and this is going to be Eid Day. This Eid day, we have four actions we need to do. Number one, I'm going to take it away because this is Hadi. Hadi is not Qurbani. Hadi for those who are going to do Umrah and Hajj. So you need to do slaughter sheep there. Why I'm saying I'm going to take this out? Because you shouldn't really be bothered. Why? Already you're giving the money to someone who's going to do it on behalf of you. So don't bother about this. Forget about it. Don't call the person. Have you done it or not? Don't. Majority of them, they will say yes or no. 
without even thinking about who are you. So don't think about it. Focus on the other three actions. Number one, we go to stone the biggest jamra. The biggest one with seven stones. Then we do shave our head. And the sister again one centimeter. Then we do tawafil ifada. We go to Mecca and do tawafil ifada. Normal tawaf, seven rounds, and go pray to Raqqa behind Maqam Ibrahim. Then we go to Sa'i, Sa'i al Hajj, the Sa'i for Hajj. Then again, seven rounds, Safa to Marwa, seven times. Then I go back to Mina and stay there in Mina. What do I need in Mina? Just pray in time, shorten Salah. Fajr two raka, Zuhr two raka, Asr two raka, Maghrib three raka, Isha two raka, and Witr. And I'm sleeping there. What's my duties in Mina? Every day. After Zawal, after you pray Zuhr, you go to Jamarat, the small Jamra, seven pupils. The middle one, seven pupils. When you do the small one, you come at the side and face the Kaaba and make long dua. Go to the middle one, stone it seven, and come to the side and make dua. And each stone, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And the biggest one, you again stone the seven pebbles, but no dua. You go back to Mina. Stay there. You stay already, we done Eid day, the biggest jamra, seven. Next day, I do seven, seven, seven. Next day was going to be and now 11 and 12, 7, 7, 7. So the first day, Eid day, 7, 11th, 21, 12, 21, all together, 49. If you want to leave the Ajjul, Alhamdulillah, no problem. If you want to stay for the day 13th, this is the Sunnah. To do seven, seven, seven. All together will become 70 stones. These stones, you could collect them from Muzdarifa as a sunnah. But if you couldn't, you could collect them from Mina. No problem. You don't have to wash them. It is not real. It is bid'ah to wash them. Normal stones, small stones. And each one said, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And you make dua. After you finish the small one, the middle one, but the biggest one, you don't do dua and go back to Mina. Once you finish this, either two days after Eid day or three days after Eid day, once you finish this, you go back to Mecca. If you want to leave Mecca straight away, you do tawaf al wada. If you're going to stay in Mecca a few days, you wait until you want to leave Mecca. The day you are going to leave Mecca, there is Tawaf al Wada, which is wajib. Wajib. You have to do it. If you don't, you need to slaughter sheep kafara. So you do Tawaf al Wada, the farewell Tawaf, and pray to Rahab behind Maqam Ibrahim. Then you leave. Now you finish your Hajj. Tawaf al Ifada is Rukun. If you don't do it, Hajj will not be accepted. Arafah, if you don't go to Arafah, this Rukun. If you don't do it, no Hajj. Ihram is Rukun. If you don't do it, no Hajj. But if you missed one day in Mina, you need to slaughter a sheep. If you missed Jamarat, don't miss it. You can ask somebody else to do it on behalf of you if you can't do it. But for the sisters, go and do it. If you can't, be there and ask someone to do it on behalf of you. Then you make dua. If you miss tawaf al-wada, you could really slaughter sheep because this is wajib. Any wajib in hajj, you could fix and rectify your hajj with slaughtering a sheep as kafara. But the Rukn, if you miss it, your Hajj will be void. You can't any, any accept this Hajj. You have to repeat it again. But make sure that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless you 
to do your Hajj in a perfect way, fulfill all the Rukn Arkan, the pillars and Wajibat and the Sunan to be a perfect Hajj. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us a perfect Hajj, Hajj Mabrur, sincere Hajj and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us forgiveness and grant all of us Jannat al-Firdaus. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين وأخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته